today, the majority shareholder, Farhad Mashiri said, you know, he, he basically backed him. Yeah, it's never a good sign. But that's, but that's, that's well, it's, it's better than the alternative, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is. But you look, you know, he, he's got rid of three managers, as we know, mm. in his tenure. You look at the next five home games, Manchester City tomorrow night, then it's Liverpool, then it's Chelsea, and then it's Manchester United. <laughs> Can ask for if, I mean, they've lost seven out of the last 11. Yeah. If this form continues for Everton, mm. might Mashiri have to revisit that statement come the end of the season? Well, I think they, bank, they banked on Marco to be there long term. You know, obviously, Sam Allardyce went in at a difficult time. By the way, when, when Sam Allardyce took that job, they were struggling under Ronald Koeman. They were down in the bottom. And for all the talk of the way Sam plays football, if you look at it on paper, he did a good job. He did a good job. He got Everton into a set, relatively safe position from where they were when they started the season, regardless of the style or, or where things went or how things have moved forward long term. Now, the next appointment after Sam was meant to be a long term appointment. So for me, it's going to be very interesting. Did the board mean it? Because it's very difficult. Of Tim's been there, I haven't been there. But it's very difficult for a manager to go in straight away. They've signed a lot of players getting them gelling within a year. You see Pep Guardiola come in, we, we now lord him, Jurgen Klopp was the same. The first year is very difficult. So it'll be interesting to see now, are they going to hang their hat on this manager or are they going to move on to someone else and say he's the long-term option? Well, I mean, they're not that much better and not that much worse. They're two points better off than last season, mm. and one place worse off at the same stage. Yeah. So I just think when you spend money, it just brings added pressure. to you Because know, it raises manage, expectation. Exactly. Managers either get time or money. Uh, and they're very lucky to get both. Um, some managers get that, uh, that luxury. Um, Mashiri obviously has been through three managers in a very short time, mm. so uh, he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not, it's nothing new to him. You know, yeah. if the results don't come, then I, I, I think he will make that decision. <laughs> where do they, they need, need to, they where they need to, need to finish for you? For, oh, it to, for, for it to be a, an acceptable season. Well, I think they're capable of finishing above Wolves and Watford, surely, at the yeah. beginning of the season. Anything other than that would be very, very impressive. You yeah. know, from, from where we are now, I think at the beginning of the season, they would have thought, you know, we've got to be pushing for six. I'm not, I think top four is, is too, too much of a stretch for them. And, you know, I'm, I'm going back to the beginning of the season. Where would they have expected to finish? I just think that it's, it's the manner of how they're playing yeah. as well. That was you a know. huge part of, of Sam Allardyce going, and whether you agree with it or not, the fans wanted a certain style of football to be played, and I thought with Marco Silva they were going to get that. But for a manager to implement that, you need time. You need time. And I'm not saying that Marco Silva is or isn't the right person for the job, but if Everton have made a huge... They, they spent a lot of money on this manager, his backroom staff, everything like that. For them to now go away from that shows that we they'll hold their hands up, we've made a mistake. But at Everton fans, right, it's a huge football club. They wanted more than what Sam Allardyce was doing because Sam... It, when Sam went in, his job was to make sure Everton were in the Premier League. In, they were in dire straits after, I think, what we thought was a terrible transfer window. They signed four or five players in exactly the same position. There was no real philo understanding of philosophy behind what they were doing. Sam went in, did what he did, got them solid, got them results, but it wasn't enough. So Marco was meant to move them on to the next level, and he hasn't done that in terms of points or style yet. Will we see the mentality of the Everton board this summer? Let's say they finish eighth which obviously isn't a great season by their standards and the money they've spent, will they then, do you think, say, no, we said Marco Silva was the man, we'll back him again in the summer and we go again? Or how much will where they finish this season have a bearing on it? Surely they won't... No, I think wherever they finish now is not going to have a bearing on it. They're not going to finish six. No. You know, they're going to finish below that. You know, Watford are on, on course to finishing above them here now. I just think that they're going to have to trust Marco Silva for the long term and they're going to have to sit down and think, do we trust this guy? Do we trust him enough to spend even more money? Are we going to go along with his playing philosophy? Do we like it? Um, because sometimes you see it from the outside and you read stuff about someone and when you get him in your house, it's completely different to what you imagined and, and perhaps that's what's happening with Marco Silva. I don't see too much free-flowing football there. I don't see an awful lot of goals there. Um, I think they do need a centre forward. They need a top class centre forward at their football club. Um, because for me, their best centre forward they've got, they've got Richarlison, who's probably not an out and out number yeah. nine, Calvert Lewin. But he puts him in by default. You know, he's not really giving them a run. I think the kid needs to have a run. They need to develop through their academy, which is outstanding. They need to have a philosophy of how they want to play at the football club. They need to be open. They need to come at you on the wide areas, which they always used to do. Mm. That crowd used to be on the up. 
When you used to go and play at Everton, you know you were an old football club and you know they're going to come on you on the front foot. I don't see that anymore. I don't see that at Everton. I, don't see, I didn't see it under Sam. He had a job to do. He had to protect the, have, their have position they lost their identity? League, and I don't see that, it now. That's been said about them. Have they lost their identity? What is their identity, yeah. though? Is it how you described it? Well, that was Every back in the day. I mean, I'm, I'm 50. You know, so <laughs> I, I, it's been a long time since I've played. <laughs> So it's, it's back in the day. I mean, everyone talks about, oh, this is how we play, this mm. is the West Ham way, this is the Everton way. What is their way now? It evolves. You know, I think they need to find a way now. But their fans 100% want players to go on the front foot and they want to have a go. No matter who they play, they want to be attacking them. And I think they've got some very, very good footballers there. I think defensively they're very weak. Right. You both said that Everton could cause an upset, could beat Manchester City. You both said it was possible, didn't you? Yes? I don't yeah. think I did. You did, you just don't remember. <laughs> if they do, then, mm. does that make Liverpool favourites in your mind? Yeah. That's a good question. If they do, which I think is very doubtful, um, no, I still think Manchester City will win the league. If Manchester City lose tomorrow, I still think they'll win the league. I still think Liverpool will drop enough points. I still think Manchester City will catch them. And Liverpool, they play Liverpool the week after, Everton. That's the game the fans want to win. <laughs> yeah. They want to rest everyone tomorrow. That's the question I asked you. No, I don't think they win, I don't think they win tomorrow. If they do, does that make Liverpool favourites? Yes. Yes.